Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Tarek Salem and today I will talk about how to use Webpack Dev Server and Express together to build a web application using Webpack Dev Server for frontend and Express framework based on Node.js for backend. So let's get started. I'm in this directory and this folder and I will open and the command prompt in this folder which I will work on and firstly I should install Express so to install Express fastly you have first of all you have to install Node.js to use npm node package manager to do to download all dependencies and packages you need and I'm here in command prompt and to install Node.js I will first uh, install uh, Express generator and so that I will say npm npm install Express dash generator to generate a basic HTML and uh, backend server using Express firstly and Express dash generator dash g dash dash save and click enter I'm waiting until I install everything and after installing it, I will generate a basic express server so I will say using this command helper express and click enter to generate a basic express content and uh, if you see this is the add.js uh, to build the server and here the pen folder and www which contains the, the port which uh, express will work on and stuff like that and uh, to test it I will say just npm run start the command to run the server and if you see here there is an error so to install all dependencies inside the package.json you, you need to say npm install dash dash save to install all needed packages and after installing if you go to this folder in this file you will see here that port is 3000 so I will go to the browser and write local host 3000 to test oh and run my server again actually now it works and if you see the server works correctly and now we will install webback so I will open uh, a new command prompt and navigate to the folder and here I'll install webpack so npm install webpack dash dev dash server dash d to install it as a devonces development and dash dash save to save it and hit enter And while installing it, I just will make a new file called webpack.config.js to make the configuration, the basic configuration of webpack. The first thing will be um, import or require pass module of Node.js, so const pass equals require. Pass module and uh, we'll say module.exports equals an object and this object will contains all the configuration of webpack and here you need to define the entry point which we will work in webpack so I will say define it define it as entry and string I will say here public and inside public I will make a new folder called source and 
inside source folder I will make a file called app.js and the source I will move it inside javascript okay and here I will say dot slash uh, navigate to public and navigate to javascript and then source folder and then app.js and uh, the second thing is the output the output could uh, which be pulled using a webpack and for this I'll define it an object and inside this object I'll say public public pass equals the public pass which the folder will contains the the output so I'll say dot slash public and slash dest dest folder and define the pass we will use the best package the join underscore direction name and slash public slash dest and uh, I will define also the file name which will grab in HTML and the file name will be bundle.js okay and uh, also we will define the mood of our development will be mood and it may be a production to bundle all javascript code inside one file and to be bundled or development so I will define it as development and save it and here I will make a new file called index.html because uh, webpack needs an html to work as a, on it as a root so I will put a basic html content and and I'll remove this link style sheet because we want to assemble HTML and here the script will be the source equals uh, dot slash public slash dest slash bundle.js and save it and to test web back now we will say uh, we will put a, a script here in package JSON. So inside the scripts object, I will define a new script and uh, define it as build uh, will be pack dash dev dash server and save and navigate here and just say npm run build uh, there is an error and we need to install also webpack so npm install webpack dash d dash dash save uh, it, it may take time after installing uh, we will navigate to browser to test it so I'm waiting to finish installing and after installing try to run the script again so npm run build npm run build uh, there is an error uh, so we will need to install also webpack cli webpack so npm install dash dash save dash d webpack dash cli
and after install it uh, I will clear and try to run our script again in bam run build and see what will happen it process it and uh, it's bundled successfully and uh, we're back actually works on local host and the port is 8080 and actually it works if we put any HTML tag inside the body and uh, for example hello world and save it reload you'll see hello world and now we we need to test uh, the JavaScript so for example we'll say alert hello world and if you see we're back bundle automatically and reload we'll see hello world now we have the express server works on the port 3000 and localhost of webpack works on 880 so we need to work uh, at the same port so if you change it anything in backend or, or frontend you see the reaction here happens here not here so to accomplish that we need to go to webpack config file and define another object called dev server and dev server is an object and there is something called proxy and the proxy uh, make a redirections from webpack server to another website so it's a it's an object and it's a key and value the key will be the root path which is a slash which means this this page not anything else and from from this it will redirect for any page so slash will be uh, direct to http local host 3000 and save it and here uh, we will navigate to command prompt and Stop it and run again, run the web back server again. npm run build web back dev server and compile successfully. Run it, it directs us on localhost 3000 uh, to this. To this project is to express project and now we will we need to see the reflect of javascript inside our express project so uh, we defined public and dest folder to bundle our javascript inside this folder and if you navigate to public you will not see a dest folder because web back dev server uh, saves the javascript code inside its memory not uh, not inside a, a file so in uh, we don't need this index.html again and we need to go to views of server of uh, express and in layout inside index.js and uh, the which is template engine and here to require a javascript file we need to say script and the source will equals actually we'll need to get this so you'll say localhost http and localhost and then say public and slash java scripts and slash uh, public slash dest and slash bundle the gs and save it try to reload 
as a script downloaded Uh, the script is loaded. And actually the script works now. So we here if we reloaded it and we will see hello world. And we can make something good rather than that. So in add to JS we will create uh, an index adev. And here in app.js, we'll say document the query selector and dev and define it inside a variable variable dev equals and then and the variable content will equals some HTML content dev. H1, H1, hello world, and dev dot HTML will equals content and save it. We'll see the reload here and hello world. It's out supposed hello world. And this is a simple way to learn how to integrate Express and web back the server. Uh, easily without confusing and thank you for watching me and don't forget to make follow and subscribe if you are on YouTube and uh, like for this video if you liked it and get the benefit and thank you